Thanks Welcome to Bear TV News. I'm Michaela Colley. There are a lot of exciting things going on during the fall semester with many new beginnings. UPike is inaugurating a new president, opening the new College of Business, and our sports programs have never been more exciting. First, Allie Ward introduces us to the newest and youngest president of the University of Pikeville, Dr. James Hurley. The leading university of Appalachia has been around since 1889. Today, UPike has its first alumnus and the youngest president serving. President James Hurley is bringing all students hope and success. Dr. James Hurley credits his success as president to his friend and mentor, Governor Paul Patton. Yeah, Governor Patton served as a wonderful mentor and did a wonderful job of mentoring me and training me to become president. And he and I came in together a little over four and a half years ago. And at that point, I realized that I would like to be president someday. Uh, it's a passion, it's a labor of love. And so every day he trained me to become president. He, he shared all of his uh, leadership attributes. Um, he, we work closely uh, every day, hand to hand, hand in hand on every single issue. And um, I, I'm very lucky and fortunate to have had the opportunity to work so close with what I think and feel is the greatest leader uh, that this Commonwealth has seen and may see for some time. Not only is President Hurley responsible for running the educational institution, but he raises more money to ensure financial success for students. We are not a state-supported institution, and so every scholarship dollar that uh, our students receive, uh, we have to uh, privately raise. And we want our students to leave the University of Pikeville with as little debt as possible. And I've been there just like all of our other students. President Hurley has also focused on creating a scholar house to guarantee an educational opportunity. It's a passion of, of mine, it's a, a passion of my family's, it's a passion of this institution. And that's a educational opportunity that provides housing and educational uh, attainment opportunities here at the University of Pikeville, Big Sandy, uh, for a student that is a single parent to obtain their bachelor's degree. And so 48 units, so 48 families at a time, we will help uh, curve this po cycle of poverty. Hurley is also concerned with students meeting the demands of employers. One of the goals is to add another professional's college with, by the year 2020 and adding pr programs, academic programs here to meet the regional needs, certainly in healthcare, education, and the business climate. Those are our three largest job sectors, if you will. And so we have to address those needs in Appalachia. President James Hurley is youthful, energetic, and he has a vision for UPike and Central Appalachia. I'm Allie Ward, and this is Bear TV. Thank you, Allie. Another exciting beginning at UPike is the new Coleman College of Business. The College of Business has a new name, a new building, and a new dean. Hannah McIntosh reports. This summer, the University of Pikeville President, Dr. James Hurley, released some exciting news. Former banker and businessman Berlin Coleman presented the gift of $1 million to help launch the University of Pikeville's new Coleman College of Business. The Coleman College of Business will impact this region tremendously because we are training students to become business leaders. Businessman Berlin Coleman not only helped launch the Coleman College of Business by his generous donation, but gave students the opportunity to become future business leaders as well. Well, Berlin Coleman is the epitome of being an entrepreneur, uh, a corporate executive, and a civic leader. And his gift has an impact that is truly immeasurable. Well, we know the dollar amount, but it's the influence that he has. He has inspired others to give, and he has shown others the need to support this institution. UPike faculty member of 29 years, Howard Roberts, was appointed as founding dean of the Coleman College of Business by the University of Pikeville president, Dr. James Hurley. I'm very honored and very humbled by this experience. Uh, when Dr. Hurley asked me to serve as the dean of the Coleman College of Business, I was very pleased and very honored. That's a great change in the institution to create this college of business. And as our institution has grown, this is um, 
what we should be doing is creating different colleges under the University of, of Pikeville's umbrella. The old academy building is a historic monument here in Pikeville, Kentucky that will serve as its original purpose in 2014 as the building for the new Coleman College of Business. This building is a wonderful building and we are glad to be using it again for its original purpose, which is educational opportunities. This building was built in 1889 when founders came to this area to, to provide educational opportunities for students and in this region and in, as they said, for the youth of the mountains. And that's what the University of Pikeville has continued to do now since 1889. And so when people drive by, when people are returning to Pikeville for a visit, oftentimes they, they have curious minds as to how the building is being used. As, as I've been here a lot during this renovation period, uh, many times people come in and they'll say, I went to school here, and, and they'll reminisce a little bit. So we want people to continue to do that. Come by and visit, enjoy this building with us. The University of Pikeville is destined for even greater things than we're now experiencing. Pikeville's Coleman College of Business is expected to be open in spring of 2014. I'm Hannah McIntosh coming to you from Bear TV News. And let's not forget sports. The University of Pikeville is reaching new heights this fall with their athletics program. Our fall sports are underway and they have undoubtedly shocked us all with their achievements this far in the season. The culture and the atmosphere of the U-Pike volleyball team is changing and with open visions, the U-Pike team is turning their program around. With this consistent progression, the women's volleyball team won't disappoint their fans, coaches, and most of all, themselves. Um, I think it's going pretty well so far. We're a young team and uh, I think we're improving every day, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, I, I think they're, they're moving forward. Last year's team set a foundation for the direction that we wanted to go and, and this year's team is really um, taken off from there. So it, it's been a good, a good um, move and a good adjustment to this year. The volleyball team is progressing well in their season this fall. Coach Shannon Gassman and her girls are becoming more and more comfortable as a whole and is working as a team. The Gaspin family is strong-rooted when it comes to you, Pike. Uh, well, we love Pikeville. Uh, my husband's the baseball coach here, and so um, our kids either grow up on right field or, or on the volleyball court. So uh, we really enjoy Pikeville. We, we just, the uh, community, um, you, the U-Pike family, we just very supportive. The women's soccer team is constantly improving with their efforts as a whole that is turning heads on campus and in the community. The expectations that Coach Warford put on his team weren't only his ideas, but his athletes as well. The women's soccer team is something that U-Pike should be proud of on and off the field. The first two years were not easy because of the transition period between coaches, but once we were able to bring in our recruiting base from Northern Kentucky and sure. from different places and the right personalities, it's just the right mix. And so now they, they've seen where we've been, they know where we are and where we want to go and to achieve our goals that we all sat down on day one and wrote on a whiteboard what our goals were. And one of those goals was to make sure we made the tournament. Yes. One of my goals was not just to make the tournament, was to succeed through the tournament and make it to the national tournament. And so they're, they're self-motivators uh, in the classroom and on the field, especially in the classroom because each and every one of them, they go to class every class period, they study, they're in the books, and they're really working hard. Coach Dudley Hilton's football program is expanding and doing great things. The coaches and the players take each game day by day and with them focusing on their problem areas, this is only to show improvements. Well, you know, uh, my first year here we played a lot of freshmen and, uh, and last year we played a lot of freshmen and sophomores and this year we're playing a lot of juniors and seniors. So hopefully we got more men on our team now than we did uh, when I first came here and I think right now we got 14 seniors. So uh, playing college football, uh, a lot different playing high school ball. You've got to uh, prepare yourself. It's a long afternoon, uh, uh, a game. It's a you know, you, so you got to get your rest. And I uh, hope our kids are a little bit more mature now than they were a few years ago. That uh, you know that that will be a big plus for this football team. The efforts that these athletes have been showing lately have given us all hope for a winning season. The direction that they are taking is leading to positive outcomes. In the past few years, our football team has shown signs of struggle when it comes to finding their rhythm, but it seems as if this year they have seen the light at the end of the tunnel. 
Well, you know, we, we really appreciate our student body and everybody getting behind us. And uh, it's, it, this is a team that represents the University of Pikeville, and it is, a, a, you know, a student's game, and we want everybody to come out and enjoy our games, and uh, which they have so far, and, uh, you know, continue to support our football program, as well as all the other programs here at the University of Pikeville. With growth and improvement, our Bears and Lady Bears will be sure not to disappoint. From the Hoops Facility, I'm Michaela Colley with Bear TV News. If you have any suggestions for stories on our next broadcast, let us know. For Bear TV News, I'm Michaela Colley.